So Adelaide's over. Um, I was going to do this yesterday, but I was just too busy by the time I finished cross country. Well, I didn't finish on both of them. And then the show jumping and all things we had to do after that. Um, so it's Sunday afternoon after the event and um, but to head home. Got a fit in the car, we've got our blow up horse balloons in the back there for him. Um, so yeah, we had a pretty awful event. Um, good in so many ways and bad in so many other ways. Cross country on Candy, she was a demon. She was amazing. She galloped fast. She was so fit. I never had her so fit. And then at the end of the course, I was really good on my time. So I thought that Mitsubishi kind of leaped fence down at the hedge. That oh, I'll just play it safe here and I'll jump a bit of a slower option to be instead of going straight down on three strides how like i'd planned on doing and she trotted and then we kicked i didn't have a distance and it just it didn't happen she slipped and i got what we refer to as she whipped into the ground um on the other side of the jump so it was um devastating for me devastating for my supporters um the grooms everybody put, everyone's put so much effort into getting us here but it's such a difficult year um and we didn't get to, to go to the finish flags at the end of the day um so it, it's sad but i'm on to wallaby hill with bush weasel in two weeks time so we look forward to that and then our season finishes and i've got that little monkey to curl up to at night time and um at the end of the day you know he means the world to me and um this just a sport so gotta keep it all in perspective and yeah and then we just regroup and go to sydney three day next year to qualify for, qualify for tokyo because to qualify for olympic games we have to do a five star long or a four star long and a four star short in the preceding 18 months before the games so this was going to be my five star long to qualify and then next year just consolidate and show that i should be picked at the one day events do good tests show jump clean and, and be quick at a few events and we really put my foot forward even though it wasn't so good this weekend i did show that she was fit and sound she tried up sound last night tried up sound the, this morning i haven't lost my nerve from having a, a baby i've still got it so that's um, one good positive from the whole weekend and it felt great to be out there and it was just, I just love going across country on that horse. It's just like, it's magic. So I'm just sitting, sitting next year for the three day and um, then hopefully still in the, in the mix for Tokyo. And, um, but tonight we get home and we have a cup of tea and we make a new plan. So thanks for watching this and I hope you stay tuned to more YouTube videos. They won't all be glory and happy and educational. Some will be a bit sad like this. And, but that's, that's life and that's what happens. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. So we, so we just had our, our riders briefing and now we're having a quick look at the course. So we just came to the main arena. Some new jumps in here this year. Normally we start and finish in the main arena, but this year we've got some complexes in here. So, um... I'll walk you through. So we come in from somewhere down there, come around and jump this table, and then we keep galloping through the arena to a double of ducks. The duck double. Got to make sure they're on the correct leg. Line. And then we jump. You can see a double of ducks. Hedge, one stride, second duck. So I'll just come around here. Landed. Five, six, seven, eight, one stride. And then you go and gallop off down there. So I'm back out on cross country today, walking the four star course for Marina. Um, you'll notice I have my daddy pedaling over there on, oh, hi Sarah. Sarah's walking the five star, so first five star. Sarah was gonna stop and listen to what Megan had to say. So, <laughs> so, has Sarah, so Sarah, have you packed your huggies when you shit your pants? Yes. <laughs> No, but maybe I should get them on the shopping list. Maybe, maybe. But they, they are, they are, uh, yes, in need. Maybe. You're in need. Now you go jumper, you'll be fine. Yeah. Excuse me, lady. 
Yes. I happen to cross you and I really can't. I have to take a picture. May I take a picture of you? You certainly may. <laughs> She's taking a picture of you. Thank you, if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just come on in here. Take a picture of me if you like. Smile. Double selfie. Exactly. It's kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> me videoing you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck and good wishes. Thank you very much. Enjoy. That's the most important part, isn't it? It certainly is. So yeah, so my just sorry, so my, my bike's on the side there because um they've aerated the ground. If you can see it's kind of been mushed up a little bit. There's no sort of nice green grass that's all been sort of ploughed into a bit. So I'm walking the four star, um Brina's fence is down, there's a nice little tabletop, and then we come down to our little logs here. So I've got to stop and get off and leave my bike on the outside because we can't ride it over the beautifully aerated ground. So then we pack it down again. So I've got to ride, ride on the outside, hop off, walk my lines, ride it again on the outside to get it around the first time. But I will then go and walk the course properly on foot this afternoon and get my minute markers as well. So um, we're just going to walk down here to fence 10A. Oh. Hang on, my zoom's wrong. 10 A and B. And we've got this double of logs. And so we kind of want to be out here a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking, I haven't really walked it yet. So we can have a little angle on this first one. And it looks about two strides to the second. So um, if we jump this straight like that, we've got to land, we're going down the hill, and we're going to hook off their heads to make them turn right. That's a little hard. So if we can just have a little angle on this first one, very small, keeping an eye on that tree though, and holding our outside rein. So then we can come down here landing a bit on this angle, not angled like that, but a little bit to the tree, little angle, and then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a perfect two strides to our B element. And um, the five star over here has um, fence 10, two fairly decent sized steeplechase brush fence galloping ox three things. And we've got to find a pathway through the trees that are all hanging down. There's Sarah there. We have a little angle on this. And uh, from what I walked yesterday, um, we just come from this just, just right of centre to, to centre there, and we do three strides down there. Um, it's a pretty big angle on it, um, and then you yeah, down the dip, you know, three strides, keep galloping, and jump out. So there's a small steep pick at some of our fences, and I'll try and do some more on my way, way, my way around if I have time. But today I'm on a pretty tight schedule, as you've seen from my schedule that, that, that I put out last night. So uh, see you later, guys. So I've crossed the road into Rumble Park, and I made a rookie mistake. Left my pockets open. And I've lost my map. <laughs> so now I have to try and get online, find a map, because I actually have no idea now where the four-star track goes, so I could be out here a while. So we're here at the hollows. Um, I've already been athletic and jumped the ditch once to walk my line. And now I've got to come back and retrieve my bike. I'm not going to risk jumping the ditch a second time because I'm not athletic at all. So instead, I'm going to tiptoe my way around through the creek and not slip and end up in the black duck poop field sludge that's there. Oh, I'm up. Right. That was my athletic grunt. So we come from the, uh, the water, Rumble Park, the footbridge, and then we come down here to the hollows. So we jump in here. Nice row with a mims clip on it. In, one stride, angle the ditch, and then two strides to the skinny. Seems reasonably straightforward. However, they do tend to try and straighten up over the ditch when you angle the ditch. So um, really the hardest part of this fence is jumping the ditch on the angle and staying on your line and not allowing them to scoot like left or right and try and straight up, straighten up the ditch because then it loses your, your line to the C element. So um, yeah, stay on your line, keep them straight, jump it. So it's cross cross country morning and uh, it's a very important part of the morning to uh, walk and we, the rustles, very, very important. I'm about to go at the course again for my last time and uh, make sure I know my lines. 
I'm happy with it all and uh, get out there later this afternoon. Well, we're out on course home to course walking. Uh, the three just started. Uh, we've got the crowds are pouring into the water jump. You see them. Oh, I can't do this all the way over there. They're all pouring in. We're at minute five on our course and uh, looking good. Jade, we're here walking the course. Have you packed your huggies? Uh, yeah, I've gone through about one packet already. Already? Yeah. yeah. Back in the so plenty for Finn, and you, you, you're kind of small enough, so you fit into them. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Finn and my bum is exactly the same size. Right, absolutely. So we've got our huggies, and we're good to go. This is the water jump, so the crowds are coming around. Oh, the strawberry van. Loves the strawberry van. Okay, so we're going to come down the hill from behind me and then we're going to do fast rides to that skinny hedge oh no i can't zoom anyway that skinny hedge in the water through the water and bounce out so i've just come back from walking in the cross country finished that got my minute marker sorted time for me to uh, feed finn he's having a little feed now um then i'll just put my head down close my eyes visualize all my fences, my minute markers, all my lines, and um, I had some good house tunes in the background, but they've been what turned off now. Music? I know, there we go. music is gone. There we go. The house tunes are back on, and um, we can chill out to that and get out of this country soon. I'm down the hill now towards the water. She's doing a good job of trying to give everybody the vision of the. I love her saddle blanket and her um, ear upon it. Yeah. 